Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. Today's video is on the European corn borer, and for you growers who raise a lot of non-traded corn, this can be a very detrimental pest, and it's a pest that we need to watch out for and scout every year. So at the European corn borer, there's really two main generations that we need to be aware of and be looking out for. The first generation is usually in the early part of June, and the second generation is usually the late part of July, first part of August. Through the research and the data that we've collected as a company here at Pioneer, along with the help of an agronomist over in Indiana, we have developed a model in which we can get pretty darn close as to when that egg hatch will be occurring, especially if we know when the first moth was found in the first generation in that early June. So with that said, the reasons why we need to be cautious of this is because if it's pre-tassel, a one larvae that bores into a stock will reduce yields in that first generation by five to eight percent. That can be very detrimental when it comes to the fall harvest. The second generation corn borer, one larvae that goes into that plant can reduce yields two to five percent. So you can kind of do the math. The more corn borer you have, the more bullet holes that you have in that corn plant, the likelihood of you having reduced yields grows even more. Let alone the fact that it's a good entryway for stock rots, different diseases and molds, ear droppage, and so forth. So be on the lookout as you're scouting your fields. The European corn borer female moths always lay their eggs on the underside of the leaves. So as you're out in your corn fields and looking, flip over a few leaves and see if you can find egg masses. And again, the data that we have collected and the models that we're using, we can probably give you a pretty good estimate as to when that second generation will come out and we'll give you a window that if you need to spray, that you can. So spraying insecticide to control the European corn borer is a very, very small window. So having this kind of a model for pinpoint accuracy is very critical. Thank you. I hope that you have found this video to be a use of your, to your farming operation. Be safe and have a good day. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.